Hi friends, we're gonna do another set of math jumping jacks today. So let's get started with our first problem. We are going to be subtracting two digit numbers this time. So I'm gonna show it to you the same way that we just used the standard algorithm for adding yesterday. So for today, I'm going to Stack up my numbers the same way I always do by putting the ones over the ones and the tens over the tens. So we're going to start with 63 minus 13. And just like we do for addition, we always start with that ones place. So in the ones place, I would have 3 minus 3. Hmm, how much is... 3 minus 3. Well, let's put up three fingers because we're starting with 3 and let's take away 3. 1, 2, 3. <gasps> How much is left? 0. Nice. And now we have 6 tens minus 1 ten. So really what we need to figure out for the tens is 6 minus 1. So to do that, let's put up 6 fingers and take away 1. How much is left? Good, five. So that's 50. So when I'm doing the subtraction, I always have this first number as the total. So I put that on my hands, three, and then I took away the one underneath it. And just like over here, I showed the first number, which was six on my fingers, and the bottom number is the one I take away. And I got five. Okay, we have 50 jumping jacks to do. Woo, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. We're going to do 45 minus 12. So I stacked up my ones places. And I stacked up my tens places. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just focus on my ones place. Because when I'm doing the standard algorithm, which is when it looks like this, I always make sure that I start with my ones place. And in my ones place, I see 5 minus 2. I know the first number is going to be the total. And the second number on the bottom is how many I'm taking away. So I'm going to do 5 on my fingers, and then I'm going to take away 2. How many are left? Good, 3. Now that we've finished the 1's place, let's look at the 10's place. So we have 4 10's minus 1 10. So on my fingers, I'm going to put up this top number, which is the 4 10's. And then I'm going to take away the bottom number, which is the one tens. How many tens are left? Three. Good job. So 45 minus 12 equals 33. And that means we have 33 jumping jacks to do. Okay, friends, here we go with our jumping jacks. Woo. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Let's hop into our next one. For this one, we're going to do 20. 6 minus 15. 
Just like always, I started by lining up my tens place and my ones place. So let's take a look at the ones place first because we know that's what we always do. And we see that we have six minus five. So we put that first number on our fingers and we take away the second number. So let's put six on our fingers and we're gonna take away the second number. Six minus five. How many are left? Just one. And now let's go to the tens place. We have two tens minus one ten. And just like we did over here, we put the first number on our fingers and we take away the bottom number. How many are left? One ten. Great work. So we know 26 minus 15 equals 11, which means we have 11 jumping jacks to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, my loves, this is the last problem that we're going to do for today. We are going to do a big number, but don't worry. If you follow the same steps, it won't be tricky wicky, I promise. So let's start with 98 minus 67. Okay. So we have 98 minus 67. I started by stacking my ones places and my tens place. Perfect. Remember, my next step, I always, always, always start with the ones place. So, I'm going to cover up the tens because that helps me so I don't get confused. And I'm going to do 8 minus 7. So, I know that first number is my total, so I'm going to show that on my fingers. 8. And then, I know the bottom number is the part I'm taking away, so 7. So, I have 8 minus 7. 5, 6. How much is left? Good, just one. And now we're going to go to the tens place. We have nine tens minus six tens. So let's do this by showing nine on our fingers because this one on the top is the total. And we're going to take away the six tens because this is the part that's being taken away. So total minus the part, nine minus six. So I have nine fingers up. I'm going to take away six of them. Five, six. How many are left? Just three. So three tens. So we just solved this huge math problem. 98 minus 67 equals 31. That means we have 31 jumping jacks to do. Go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. I'm exhausted. Thank you for doing some math jumping jacks with me, friends. I'll see you soon.